The mean IQ scores for 2,000 students is 90, with standard deviation 10. Assume the scores have a normal curve. Assuming the scores have a normal curve, answer the following. All right, so they're going to ask us a bunch of questions about how many students have IQ scores in various regions. All right, well, it's all about this normal curve. So I brought this normal curve and pasted it here. So you want to put this in your notes exactly like it is here because um, this is how you answer questions involving the normal curve in uh, the homework. So how do we, how do, we do this? So the, the mean for these 2,000 students is 90. So that's the middle. So that goes right here. That's the X bar. That's the middle. It's the average, the mean, the middle. And then the standard deviation is 10. Well, the standard deviations are these lines, these jumps. So this goes up by 10. So this would be 100. This goes up by 10 again. This would be 110. And up by 10 again, this would be 120. And then the other direction, same thing, just goes down goes down by 10 further. It's just like a big number line. So the middle is 90, and every line to the right goes up by 10. Every line to the left goes down by 10. This is 80. Down by 10 again, this is 70. Down by 10 again, this is 60. Okay, so there is this. So, so this is true. If you have 2,000 students and the average, the mean IQ is 90, and the standard deviation is 10, then we can answer these questions. How many find the number of students with an IQ score between 80 and 100? Well, here's 80. Here's 100. That'd be 68%. That's what the percentages mean. So that'd be 68% of the 2,000 students, right? Because there's 2,000 total students in this study. What is what is of always. This this is 0.68 of is times. In math, of is always times. 0.68 times 2,000. And that comes out to be 1,360 students. So you would know for sure if, if IQ scores are normally distributed. That's the key word. We see this normal curve, this bell curve, this normal distribution bell-shaped curve. So if IQ scores, and in fact they are, many studies have shown that IQ scores are normally distributed. There's some average, um, and most people are around the average. That's why there's a big hump in the middle. Most people are around the average. And then the, the, the curve gets much shorter when you go real high because there's less and less people with a really high IQ and less and less people with a really low IQ. Most people are around the middle. It's humped in the middle with most people being around the middle. So um, next question, how many would have between 70 and 110? Well, there's 70 and there's 110. So that's going to be from here to here. That's 95%. So 95% of the 2,000 students, which means 0.95 times the 2,000 students, and that comes out to be 1,900 students would have an IQ between 70 and 110. That's almost everybody, all but, but 100 of the students. Okay, now final question. Find the number of students with an IQ score over 120. Now, where's 120? Right there, 120. And notice it's 0.10% that are above that, 0.10%. So 0.10% of the 2,000 students. And now, how do you change 0.10% to a decimal? You think it's already a decimal. No, 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 it's got a percent symbol on it. So even though you think, yeah, it's got a decimal, but it's also got a percent symbol. We've got to get rid of that percent symbol. That goes back two more places, one, two. So that's going to be 0010 of times 2,000. Does that make sense? When you change that 0.10% to a decimal, it goes back two more places, right? When you go from a percentage to a decimal, when you lose the percentage symbol, you go back two places. So even one that already has the decimal, it needs to go back two more places when you lose the percent symbol to make it a pure decimal. Multiply that and you get, so 0.001 times 2,000, you get 
two students. So there'd only be two students out of the 2,000 that have an IQ score higher than 120. So make sure you have this normal curve here with these percentages on your notes for the exam.